Hello everyone, this is Justice Michelle Thomas in Art Peace Studio. And today we're going to have some fun with clay. And I'm gonna show you how to uh, turn a pinch pot into a uh, music instrument. It's a shaker. I'm using the pinch pot technique because that develops your sensitivity in your hands when you're working with clay to really feel what the thresholds of the clay can do. Uh, and I wanted to create something that was just kind of cool and fun uh, in that it's you can use it afterwards. So it's form and function. To start a pinch pot with the ball of clay, I just take my thumb and press it into the clay. It doesn't go all the way through. I just press it so that it, it goes up to the knuckle of my thumb. Now this is the beautiful part of creating a pinch pot. So I use both hands. So this hand, I'm kind of cupping the ball and I'm always kind of touching it to see, to you know, try to keep a circular shape. And so basically what I'm doing is I'm holding it in my palm and I'm pinching, I'm pressing my four fingers to, to my thumb, I'm pressing them. And it starts to move the clay. Now I'm able to rotate this on my thumb. You can see it turning. So I use my fingers, this as a brace, and I'm able to turn the clay into my thumb. So as I'm pressing the clay, I'm making the walls thinner and I'm also using my hand as a brace so that my fingers don't go through the clay. And I just keep doing that in a circular motion. So here I'm gonna start to refine this. I'm pressing with the, my four fingers into my thumb and I'm, I'm actually moving my thumb in this direction as I'm doing. It, it's kind of like meditative because if I close my eyes, I can feel the thickness of the clay. Now, one of the goals is to have the thickness of the clay as thin as, to get it as thin as possible, as thin as I can get it, and to have it uniform throughout. So the thinness is all the way through, where right now the lip here is very thick and it's thinner down here. Now I'm doing something a little different. As I press my fingers into my thumb, I'm starting to pull my fingers in an upward motion because now I, I want to start forming this shape into a circle, into a sphere. And notice these four fingers are now doing this motion, are, are, are doing a pulling motion because I want to close that hole. I want this, this, I don't want a bowl shape. I don't want the opening so wide. I want to close that opening. So I begin to literally push those fingers in and push that clay. <clears throat> And you can see the hole is starting to close. So I have more clay that I have to fold in. So I'm, at, I'm literally folding it in. But because I'm trying to make the hole smaller, I'm going to have to pinch some of that together to, clo to actually close it. So I'm pushing it in, but then it buckles. So in order to fix that buckle, I have to pinch the clay, that the, the clay is soft enough and malle malleable enough to pinch it together. And so that's how I start to close that hole. And you see, I can do it fairly quickly. I, once I push that clay in, I can pinch, and I'm very sensitive to not having it crush, but just enough so that it starts to close the hole. So my goal here is to close the hole as small as I can while still being able to thin the walls and, and make my sphere more sphere, <laughs> as opposed to this is more oval. In order to make our shakers, I would take some beads and put them inside our shaker, put them inside that hole. And you can use anything, sand, rocks, anything that's gonna make noise. I think this one has a combination 
of beads and rice, but anything small enough to go into the hole. Then uh, once this is completely dried, you can begin to paint your surfaces and paint it any way you want. I have two examples here. One I just painted pink and then this one is multicolored design. And where the uh, hole is that we put the beads in, I just cut out a you know piece of piece of construction paper or color paper and glued the hole closed. And once the whole thing is dried, you just glue it closed. You have your shaker. That's my pinch pot musical shaker. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed that. Art Peace Studio. Peace.